Hi YouTube. Today I bought a uh, new key off of eBay. So this is a generic um, key. Um, you can find them on eBay. It's like 20 bucks. I don't even think it's $20. And here's my good key over here from the factory. This particular car only came with one valid key when I purchased it, so I'd like to have a second one as a backup. Now, I can't really do this with one hand. Let's see. Let me put this camera down. And you'll see, key on it is blank. So, there's nothing cut into this uh, key at all. It's completely blank. Now on top of that, this one actually takes a non-rechargeable battery. This back panel pops out. You can see the little uh, seam right here. I actually kind of prefer that. Um, even though it will wear out more frequently, this is a serviceable key over its life. Now, um, it feels pretty decent overall. The only thing is, I've read there are no weather seals inside of this. We'll see how it works. Um, I'm going to try and use it. Anyway, uh, back to the point of this video. We need to code this key. Um, well, the new key, anyway. So I've heard, and we're going to try it right now, that if you lock the car with the factory key, so the car is locked, and we unlock it, so car is lit up, it's unlocked, it recognizes this key, and you take the new one, and you pop it in the dash right here. In theory, it's supposed to code it, if it came from the dealership, that is. And as you can tell, I don't think it's working. So it's not working right now. I'm going to try and hold this one next to the, um, the steering column here. I don't think there's anything on this car, but you can see my key, it's right there. And hit the button again. Hold it. You got nothing. Hold the brake. Nothing. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. So then, what we've got is this interface right here. This is CGDI, and I won't lie, this thing isn't cheap. But it's supposed to be a code a dealer key. And the real reason I bought it is so I can swap out the ECU on here, the DME. I have the older uh, MSD80 that's known for going bad, and I want to put an MSD81 in this car. It's the updated one. And to do that, you need a specialty device, which this is one of them. So I purchased it for that reason. So the next thing we're going to try is possibly to code this new key using CGDI. So, I will do my best. Let's see if we can't get this to work. Now, I haven't done this before. Alright, here's CGDI. I have not done this before, so I can't tell you I know exactly what I'm doing. To pass it through, I've got it running inside a VM. And this isn't really a how-to video, it's more of a, if you happen to have this interface, this is, it will actually work the way it's intended to. Video. Yeah, connect. All right, open CGDI. Open CGDI, okay, here we go. I'll update that later, it's actually fully up to date. I don't know why it comes up with that screen. Um, so, don't really know what's in this car or what I'm doing, which is uh, safe, I'm sure. So I think what I need is cast one through three plus key match. Let's read key info. It's doing stuff. And you might be able to see down there, it's got a little status screen. 
please pop up the key from the ignition. I think that means this one needs to be... That was super weird. All right. So I need to save that. All right. So I should probably blank this out before I upload it. Close the door because it's annoying. I don't know if you can see this, but we've got key IDs that two keys are filled on this. I believe. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like I think I have two keys programmed to this car. The rest of them are currently unused, but they all have pre filled passwords. And I think when you buy a car from the dealership, and I could be wrong, that they pre-fill it with the password and then your car will code it. Because this one came from eBay, it doesn't have that password pre-filled. So I need to um, use this instead. So now I'm gonna hit generate dealer key. Select the key number first, we're gonna hit key three. Watch that be the wrong one and I'll probably break my car. Generate dealer key. Then I put this blank key into the CGI DI coil. Now I hit next. Work key is being red. Key is blank. Okay, it says that's an error. Read key info. Pop up the key from the ignition. Okay. Read key success. No. Pause back EEPROM. Two. Generate dealer key. Put the key into the. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I think I need to put my good key into the CGDI coil. Now I need to put the blank key in. So I just put my good key in first, and now the blank key. I have no idea if this is a smart key or not. We're going to say yes. Key is being programmed. Programming was successful. So now if I hit this, now let's, I've got my blank key here. After programming, I assume this is done. We're gonna pop it in the ignition. We're gonna hit start. Look at that, it works. Keys are good. Put my other key in there. Not sure if my other key actually works. Oh, it needs to be popped in. There we go. So I have two working keys now. But that does answer the question, you need an interface like this, like CGDI or another programming interface, if you want to use one of those generic blank eBay keys. Unfortunately, it doesn't work just by popping it into your dash. I'm also curious, I 
don't think this is gonna be synced yet. Oh, it is. So this is the new one. It locks and unlocks as well. So it's a fully working key. Minus, of course, the blank laser cut key that's inside. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out a solution for that. I'm thinking about making a jig so I can cut my own. Otherwise, you need to find a locksmith that can um, that can cut those type of keys. And everything is cheap. Anyway, guys, uh, that's uh, Chesapeake Metalworks, and we'll be coming to you with more videos, including coding my MSD 80 to 81 um, DME in this particular car. Peace.